Cheers, everybody. It's your organics here. And we're going to show you how this apple grease monkey crossed with grateful apple fritter crossed with grease monkey crossed with grateful breath from the Canafam Dan Kaze. We were in the process of harvesting uh, and we had to cut this down a little early. Cut it down early. We saw some webbing. Um, no mites, but we had a lot of white flies. I grabbed this nug. It was cold. Just gave it a shake. White flies started coming out, and we don't want to smoke white flies. So what we do in this process to save the herb, we're going to give it a wash. And that's what these three bins here are for. So when you're harvesting your herb and you have a plant that's not finished, but you want to preserve it, and you want to make sure that you get the quality out of it. You're saving the terpenes, you're saving the flavonoids, you're saving the cannabinoids. We had to harvest it a little young, but at the same time, we're going to save everything that we put into it. And this is how you do it. So you're going to do a dry trim, a wet trim. A wet trim is when you remove the big fan leaves from the bud. Usually some scissors, trimmers, uh, they're around here somewhere. But for these big fan leaves, you can essentially just move them off with your hand. The sugar leaves are closer in on the bud sites, so we're going to give them a little trim with the clippers, and we'll show you that later. So initially we're just pulling off the fan leaves. Okay, now we're going to put this down, and over here we have some buds that we've already done a wet trim on. We've already trimmed these up. These have not been flushed. We're going to flush them. Uh, the same cut, apple, grease monkey, grateful breath, had white flies coming out of it. We don't want to smoke white flies. And a lot of people are worried about washing their buds. Like, oh, why am I going to dip it in water and ruin it? So check it out. We have three buckets. One bucket is um, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we do one cup to four gallons. Um, and then the next, we have our baking soda. And from there, we go to our clean wash water. So we have one that is room temperature, one that is two that are, I'm sorry, room temperature, and one that is cold. So the two room temperature, they also contain the hydrogen peroxide. We're going to do a first dunk. You really just want to swish it around to make sure that you get all areas of the bud covered. And it's going to look like that. It's going to look like somebody dipped your nugs in water. And my first time doing this, it hurt my heart. Like, why am I doing this to my nugs? And after a couple harvests, now we're going to take it to the next bin, also room temperature. And this has a little bit of the baking soda in it. Just 10 seconds. And now we're going to take it to the cold water bath to sterilize it. And over here, as you can see, we're just going to shake it around in the very cold water. The cold water at the end will preserve the trikes, the terps, flavonoids, and there's going to be no more white flies after that. So over here, we're going to take it and we're just going to let it dry. We're going to hang it up, let it hang down, and that's that. Shorganics signing off. Thank you for checking in. More videos to come.